Hello, my name is Jeff Christine, and today we are going to make a delicious berry good We're salad. We're making sure that this recipe turns out perfect. So what I did was I also included a mise en place, which is everything in its place. On here we have ingredients, and we have our equipment, and we have things that we need to do before class. So make sure that you always read this. The ingredients are broken down according to the food groups that they're in. More or less, we have fresh herbs and vegetables on this one, and we also have pantry items. So this would be where you would find the items. So let's go over our mise en place and make sure that we have everything we need to succeed in this class. Okay, so I have plums. I think I have plums. Aren't they pretty? Now mind you, I've already washed this because it says clean the countertop, which I have done, wash my hands, which I have done, and wash my fruits and vegetables. So I washed my plums. I also have blueberries, and blackberries, and in addition to that, I have fresh mint and fresh basil. Also, also look good, yum. Smart pantry, I have sea salt. I have extra virgin olive oil, freshly ground pepper, and honey. Balsamic reduction video. <laughs> reduction. So I've placed all this on a sheet tray. I have a cutting board. I have a wet cloth. I have a chef's knife. I have clean scissors. In addition to that, I also have my serving plate which is right here. I have everything that I need, which is really fantastic because this makes you much more efficient in the kitchen. Not only does it make you more efficient, it also helps you so that you feel confident in the kitchen. So let's get started. I'm gonna put this to the side for a minute. And the first thing I wanna do is make sure everything is safe. So I have a damp cloth and underneath my cutting board, I'm just gonna place that because that keeps my cutting board from sliding. Do you ever watch those shows and like the cutting board sliding? Your cutting board won't slide this way. I'm gonna put my knife here, grab my plums, and what I'm gonna do now is show you how I'm going to cut the plums. You can see the plum. It has like a natural little line right there and right there. So let's see if you can see that. Do you see the natural little line there and there? It's like up at the top. You see that. So I've done, cut this and I've cut this. And you can see my seed is in the middle. You take our knife and cut right around that seed, just straight. So here, it's like a quarter of an apple. So from here, I am going to slice it. Alrighty. So, I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice them up this thick. You can see there, there we go. You wanna make sure that you slice them all evenly sliced as much as you can. You want the size to be basically the same throughout so that everything looks nice and pretty and uniform. I'm going to tell you about the wonderful benefits of eating red. One of the benefits of eating red is for your heart health, bladder health, to strengthen our memory, and also it's anti-cancer. Not too shabby, right? For some red stuff. I'm just going to put all of these in the center, like so. Alrighty. You can do that. You can put them separately. You can put little lines and make a smiley face. You can do anything that you want with this, okay? So be creative. Here I have my blackberries and I'm just gonna place those all over like so. And the beauty of cooking, I think, is that you're the artist, which makes it pretty cool. I am going to scatter these about. So you can see right here. Here's what it looks like so far, 
Sorry. It's really colorful, right? I love that. Remember, half of your plate should always be fruits and vegetables. And with this salad, this is so easy to eat half of your plate as fruits and vegetables. With a clean cloth, I'm just going to clean up my plate. Alrighty, just so it looks pretty. And always do that with a clean cloth. Don't use that with a cloth that you usually wash dishes with or anything of that nature. Fresh sea salt. Okay, and you just want to sprinkle that on top just a little bit because salt is really a little tiny bit of salt is going to bring out a lovely flavor. It's going to make the sweet even sweeter, which is phenomenal. Keep a little bit of basil for my garnish and the rest. Now here's what's cool. You can do two things. You can rip it up, which sometimes I just like doing. If you want to get a little bit more fancy, use a knife or I like to use scissors. I think scissors are better for these kind of things. I kind of want to roll it a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you are just very carefully going to cut this and it's going to end up in little ribbons. You can see, just be careful, don't cut your fingers with this, okay? Here I have my mint. It smells really good. Mm. And it's green. So green is really good for you. One of the benefits of eating green is that we have anti-cancer. Wonderful, right? We have anti-cancer, eye health, and bone health. And in addition to that, also teeth health. Yay, right? Just going to rip this. And there we go. Alrighty. So let's do a little bit more. I want to keep a little piece for my garnish here. I like this piece here. I kept the little two leaves there and I kept these, le these leaves for the garnish. I'm just going to continue doing this. I like tearing it. Today I'm in a tearing kind of mood. So you know what? Why not? Makes it look nice and rustic. So you can see how pretty this looks, right? Isn't that beautiful? So easy to eat half your plate as fruits and vegetables with this recipe. The thing I'm going to do is I am going to put my finger, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So here's my olive oil, okay? I'm going to place my finger on top. You can see that, okay? So there's only a tiny, tiny little bit of room. And what that does is it keeps the olive oil from coming out all at once. And in addition to that, I also can get more of a drizzle. And so I just want to go back and forth real lightly. And you're going to see it's really pretty then. You get a drizzle, which is really fantastic. There we go. Alrighty. You can see the drizzle on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my honey and I am going to drizzle that. So I like honey, but I don't like too much of it. So you're just going to take it on your spoon and you just want to drizzle it. I like using white plates because then you can really see the design. Um, and it looks like a piece of art because it's very, it makes all the colors pop. Oh, okay, look, the spoon of the honey. Honey, I love honey. It makes me sweet, right? I am going to put just a tiny bit of freshly ground pepper. Then to top it all off, I'm going to put a little bit of this balsamic reduction. And I'm just going to very lightly squeeze this. And once again, it's just very lightly and I'm just going to make squiggle squaggles. Okay, I'm almost done. And what I'm going to do is take my basil and my mint and I am going to garnish. There you have it, a beautiful, very delicious salad. Doesn't that look yummy? Just gonna have, mm. oh, yeah, mm. Mm. that fell. Mm. Very good. So enjoy. And I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining my class.